Hey, hi guys, 3D Woody here again. A uh, quick video here. I like to document all the good things and the issues I have with the CR-10S. Um, and today it's a issue that I have. Uh, looks like a critical one. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to have to revamp a few things here. Anyways, I got a thermal runaway um, in uh, part way into a print, about 8% into a print. I'm uh, just going to show you here. Let me move the camera around. So I was uh, printing the uh, the body of the birdhouse on Thingiverse. Um, it's the the condo version or cottage version, whatever it is. Anyways, it went. It was going quite well. Printing really well. And then all of a sudden, I got a thermal uh, a thermal runaway uh, on the. Uh, on a unit. Um, now when I try, the light's kind of in the way, but now when I try to do anything, I get heating failed um, and it won't heat up anymore. So um, um, I was in the process of, uh, of upgrading to the, uh, the V6 uh, uh, hot end uh, until the mount broke, but I've uh, in my previous video, I did redo the mount on the back here, so I'm all ready to go and mount it again. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, in the meantime, I have ordered the upgrade board for the CR-10 from um, uh, TH3D and to support the, uh, the dual extruder. And I'm waiting for that to arrive as well, so I'm probably going to do that upgrade as well. And I'll do a video on the upgrade. Uh, but I think right now, I think probably this thermal resistor maybe in the uh, original hot end that I've been using has, uh, has, has done maybe. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, I'm going to see. But um, uh, this thing has been working flawless for me uh, for quite a while and with the original hot end and printing everything. Um, uh, PLA... P-tag and flex, and it's great. Um, and but I, you know, things don't last forever. Maybe so. Uh, we're going to do the upgrade. That's about it for now, guys. Uh, have a great day. Bye for now.